Welcome back. In this video we're going to clear glaze our ocarina. The clear glaze comes in one of the glaze containers like this. Should say clear glaze on the top, should say clear glaze on the side. If you have any um, you know, worries about it being the wrong thing, make sure you check with me first so you don't um, you know, put rows all over yours and completely ruin it. Make sure that you unscrew the cap. When you're done, screw the cap all the way back on so it doesn't leak out like that. Um, if you uh, tilt it over. Now to clear glaze what you need to do is you need to paint your whole ocarina and you can see the shininess here as opposed to the like uh, matte color here that's not shiny and that's the difference between the clear glaze and the unglazed part. Um, things you don't want to do, don't clear glaze over the holes any of them. You can kind of see how I've left them all undone. If you have your holes on the top please clear glaze around them carefully so that you don't get them um, you know so you don't ruin them one thing you don't want to do is anything that's sitting on the bottom like mine's sitting down the bottom here you don't want to clear glaze that or it will glue itself to the kiln shelf so um, it'll actually melt and turn into a liquid glaze liquid glass and melt itself to the kiln shelf so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your brush and you're gonna kinda pat the clear glaze onto the surface. You can see how I'm just kind of patting it one, two, three, pat it one, two, three, and you want to get a nice layer of clear glaze. Don't put too much on that it's running all over the place and dribbling everywhere. That's just kind of excessive and too much. Also, don't paint back and forth like you normally might with a watercolor or tempera. Um, and scrubbing it because what's going to happen is the moisture in the clear glaze loosens the under glaze and then the glazes start to kind of ooze together and turn into a big sloppy mess of brown. So I'm just going to kind of continue. There's really not much explaining that goes along with this. Just be careful. Pat it on rather than smearing it back and forth. Don't put so much on that it's dribbling all over the place. And before you put it on, double check to make sure you have your name on the bottom and then just leave it on your cardboard so that I can um, make sure your name is on there and I make sure I get it back to the right person. Okay, so Mr. Lundgren, at this point, um, you can fast forward and give the rest of your demonstration instructions while I do this silently.
Okay, so that's what your um, ocarina should look like when you're done. It should be pink and clear like that, or the, have the clear glaze all the way around it. Anywhere that it's gotten onto the bottom, you can do one of two things. You can take your fingernail and just scrape it off, or if you've got a popsicle stick, you can scrape it off. Or if you don't want to do that, you can get a wet paper towel. And if you just get a little piece of paper towel, get it wet, you can usually rub the clear glaze off with a wet paper towel. So whichever way works best for you, I don't care, but when you um, put it away, there should be no clear glaze on the bottom. It should look like this. There shouldn't be any leftover dribbles dribbling down on the bottom. There should be total, totally clear on the bottom. should have your first name, last name, your table circled, and your um, teacher's name right next to that. And it should look like that, clear glazed all the way around. You can set it back down on your cardboard and that's it. Wash your brush out really well. Take the lid of your clear glaze on. Screw it on there really tightly. Um, and if you have any trouble, let me know. Finish screwing it on, put it away. And that concludes how to clear glaze your ocarina.